Mater's new heart. Sitting on the engine stand. Cherry picker there just because I'm not fooling with it for a day or two. Just to keep a little just in case, you know. I don't want anybody to come up here and decide they want to try to screw around with that thing and maybe roll it over on the engine stand. You know, you can flip it over, and if they flipped it over, it's liable to fall on them. So little added safety precaution, but anyway. That's uh, about the extent of that. We have a pile of medium-duty Chevrolet truck parts. Bell housing, the big flywheel. Granted, all this is set and got some flash rust on it. It's not hurt. There's a clutch and pressure plate. Anyway, make a long story short, if anybody's got one of these medium-duty Chevrolets and wants this stuff, wants to give a little something for it and pay shipping, you know, shipping would be a relatively, relatively expensive but I don't know that flywheel appears to be in pretty good shape and that clutch doesn't appear to be that old so I don't know anyway there's also the adapter to go to the SA1 uh, bolt pattern uh, um, transmission to a GM block which could be if you want to sit and think about it that could be used in the opposite direction you could take like a Cummins and made it to a Chevrolet transmission with that did I say that? Anyway, it's for sale. I want some money for it. Just because I know what it's I know what it can be used for. I've seen it done, so that right there is a hundred dollar piece if anybody wants it. And like I said, it's it's factory made, it's not junk, so anyway. Yeah, we are gonna go collect some uh collect some winnings. Yep. We're gonna go collect our um our twenty five dollar gift certificate to the beer joint. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Biggie's. That's Biggie's Tavern. I call it Beer Joint. Same thing. Uh, tavern. Beer Joint. Whatever you want to call it. Well, anyway, Mater's been sitting here for... Sheesh, at this point, he's been sitting here five... Five days? Six days? Something like that. He's dirty as I'll get out anyway, so we're going to drive him in the rain. He'll be all right. Now, well, let's, uh, let's fire the old toad up see what takes place as a, a certain person would say let's give him the boot what do you think oops helps if you take him out of gear turn down the radio turn off the air conditioning all this good stuff let's try this again turn that off I don't even know why it's on anyway bump it again and give him the boot who wants an engine blow anybody want an engine blow Anybody want a blowed up engine? Let's blow him up. Y'all too? Let's get him the boot. Y'all too? <laughs> nah, we ain't gonna do that. We might. Nah, I won't. This motor here, I just went through this motor. This is a. This one's not as bumpy as the 383. This is just a 350. It's got a torque cam in it that's a little overkill. You can hear it a little bit in the exhaust, but it's pretty smooth. Solid lift cam, of course. I like my solid lift cams. That's going to bug me on that big block, but I don't know if the valve covers are going to come off too easy, and I sure as heck don't want to pull with a solid lifter cam and a big block that I might not be able to get the valve covers off of. That could be aggravating. Well, I know I'll be able to get the valve covers off of the engine if I need to, but it might require unbolting it and moving it around and things of that nature. We're not going to, we're not going to take that gamble, so anyway, Mater's up and going nice rainy day um, Aussie 50 sent this to me he sent it air mail it's rain thunderstorms and all this stuff if you ain't seen his latest video uh, you'll you need to watch it and you might understand he sent it it poured down here earlier it's just now it's slacked up now well, it's quit right this minute you know it's been quit for I don't know 10 or 15 minutes I guess something like that I don't know time flies when you're having fun but anyway it's a crummy day I need to paint the top of my building eh crud on the windshield won't let me focus just turn on some yeah oh boy that made it even worse anyway top of my building's rusted i never painted it i need to do that but anyway let's go check some mail and let's go claim our winnings well we just went and picked up our prize winnings yeah from big old kingsport tennessee we're on commerce street well we're not on commerce street well the radio station's on commerce street we're on center street but anyway we're sitting on the side of center street Commerce Street runs down there, and right there is actually the parking lot for the darn radio station, couple radio stations, actually, yeah, there's two radio stations in that building, and a television station. 
But anyway, you can't see it, but there ain't much to see. No way, but anyway. Picked up our winnings. Here's our winnings. Two t-shirts and a $25 um, gift card to the beer joint. They call it a restaurant, raw bar, and tavern. I'm going to call it beer joint. Well, anyway, if anybody wants to, wants to enter to win these right here, I can't wear them. They're larges. They're just going to be too small for me. I'm going to pay some alone. The first uh, two people in the comments, now mind you, if you can't wear a large, don't, you know, don't bother. I mean, what's the point? I can use them for grease rags too. But if you wear a large t-shirt and you want to want one of these t-shirts, um, we'll do a little contest. It's real simple. Put it in the, um, just in the comments. Like I said, it's going to be the first order that I see them, so there is room for error. Um, Tell me the uh, first year that I painted Old Tomator. First time. Tell me the year. Yep. I've said it more than, more than once. He's been painted three times. What's the first year that I painted him? Somebody should be able to figure it out. Anyway, we'll see what else we can get into. Y'all know how darn hard a 427 big block water pump is to find. Good Lord have mercy. But anyway, we found one beside this blasted mountain. This mountain over here? Yeah, you can't see much of it, but all I'm going to tell you is there's enough, <coughs> excuse me, enough artillery in that mountain to blow up half the world, I would say. It's um, a rather secured location in part of um, what they used to call the Holston Army Ammunition Plant. Yeah, you know it's full of nukes. We all, everybody around here suspects it, but, you know, there's no proof. But you know what it is. I know what it is. We'll leave it at that. <coughs> Excuse me again there. The weather's trying to kill me. But anyway, we just chug a load up the side of the mountain. And we're heading back to the house. You know, they always say that a core charge costs more than the pump. Yeah, could be a reman pump. Turns out the pump it's a brand new pump, and the core charge is more than a pump. But the last time I checked, somebody brings you in a box, it's a water pump, you get the core charge back, you open it up and go, yep, that's a water pump, and you close the box back. Enough said. Can we say small block water pump? Yeah. Anyway, more to come. You might get to see one of these monkeys get a speed ticket. I am actually doing it dead on the speed limit. Look at them, they're flying. They're going off the other side of this mountain. If I want to slow down, all I have to do is do this. la dee da dee da I'll ride the gear off the mountain. Anyway, see y'all. You've heard me talk about bypasses, bypass and stuff, right? Well, there's this little part of Tennessee right here. That, that they sure as shit, they bypassed it. And there is um, some neat stuff over in here, at least it used to be. I haven't been through here in a long time, and... Whoa, we're getting valve rattled. Let's get it up a gear. Anyway, we're gonna take a drive through and see what we can uh, what we can find up through here that might interest us. I see body parts. Uh huh. Yeah, didn't look too good. Didn't look too bad either. But uh, there used to be a place up here we could uh, you could about find anything as far as old cars. Just you'll have to see if it's still here. It's been several years since I've actually drove through here, but. We're gonna find out. Sorry if it's jerky and jake, shaky and everything else, but I can't put you on the windshield mount no mater. Um, ever since I done some suspension work to the rear to actually make it do what it needs to do, it is so stiff that it actually jars the hard drive of my camera and shuts her down. So we just have to do it uh, the good old hold it in your hand method. But they literally made a four lane to bypass this little community. And like I said, there used to be some neat stuff over in here. There's an old Nova up there. Let's see what else we can find. There's a bunch of old Chevy trucks. The place I'm looking for should be here on the left, coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, right here. Used to be a service station. Just under what all the stuff you can see in there. I mean, there's not as much there as it used to be by any means. It used to be plum full. There's your Volkswagen graveyard. Yeah. Mark said there's all sorts of neat stuff up in here. I 
can't remember if there's anything else. You got a Quonset hut. Everybody seen a Quonset hut? There's a Quonset hut. The funny thing is, they live in that Quonset hut. <laughs> it's what you call a cheap house. Don't worry, I've thought about doing the very same myself. Build one, build a nice front on it, and call it a house. You'd have one big old house that way. But we're fixing to come back out to the main road, so. Like I said, that's a little side trip to America. There's an old Camaro. That's just uh, this, a lot of this stuff that you see sitting around on these back, little back alley roads like this. The only reason it's still here is because our good government thought the need to bypass it. So it's kind of out of the way and out of sight and out of mind. So, But anyway, maybe there'll be more. Who knows? Boy, don't you love bricks that pass you flying? He's big old dually there. Got his big old welding apparatus in the back of it. Yeah. I think we're trying to say, but anyway, Hamlin County plates. During speed limit, 45 mile an hour. And you talking about he was trying to, I think he was trying to breed old tow wrecker. I think he was, because he had his back bumper up underneath my truck coming through, coming through the, around the bluff, so needless to say, I wouldn't mind seeing him flipped on his top up here, because I believe I'd just stop and winch up his welder, put it up on the back of the truck, and keep going, leave him there. <laughs> Some people in this world get them dual wheels, and they drive like a bat out of hell. I normally don't. I'm going 46 mile an hour and a 45. Okay, I'm speeding. I'm going 44 now. Yeah, whatever. I go pretty well drive the speed limit. I pretty well drive safe, but... Idiots like that. What are we going to do with them?